Adam Richman regularly bit off more than he could chew as host of Man vs. Food. More often than not, this resulted in hilarious results. Richman didn't always win his challenges, but it was always entertaining to watch him give it his all. Rarely afraid of super spicy anything, on one occasion, Adam Richman was forced to quit just two wings into a five hot wing challenge. He was attempting the rather crassly named Fire in Your Hole challenge at Munchies 420 Cafe, wherein a competitor must simply eat five of the restaurant's spiciest wings. There was a 95% failure rate to the challenge, due to the fact that the wings were coated in a sauce made from ghost peppers. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. You breathe it in, and it's like you have a sea urchin, right? Like Lodge, right here. Richman was quickly reduced to panting and stumbling about behind the restaurant, drinking milk and sucking on ice cubes, and fearing he was going to pass out. It later emerged that the staff of the cafe had engaged in some foul play, doctoring the recipe of the already fantastically spicy wings with a bottle of chili extract, adding so much heat as to make the wings all but impossible to eat and likely not even safe for consumption. The heat and spice Richmond experienced was likely akin to that of being assaulted with pepper spray used by law enforcement or in self-defense. Richmond later called what the cafe did, quote, cavalier and very dangerous, and was understandably upset to have been taken advantage of unfairly, not to mention robbed of the chance to fairly take on the fire in your hole challenge. Now, let's never talk about said challenge again. It's always hard to know which scenes are going to make the cut while a television program is being filmed, and often some of the funniest and most memorable moments are those that unfortunately end up on the proverbial cutting room floor instead of on the show. Such was the case when Adam began clowning around in the kitchen during a visit to Rochester, New York, first imitating Olympic speed skater Apollo Ono by skating back and forth on the greasy kitchen floor, and then by working out his triceps by pressing down on a massive hamburger he'd soon be attempting to eat. Everyone who thinks that I'm unathletic, I want you to know that I'm in the barbecue kitchen, and here's my homage to the Olympics. Knowing now how much the host of Man vs. Food was suffering from depression brought on by his weight and lack of fitness makes the clip a little less amusing when watched in its entire context. Knowing that he went on to get leaner and healthier, however, brings solace. In fact, Richmond would eventually switch to eating multiple small 150-calorie meals daily and exercising enough to where he stripped down to the buff and posed with a strategically placed soccer ball for a cosmopolitan centerfold, a testament he was happier with his body. His turnaround was impressive. We have all had those moments where we casually do something without thinking, only seconds later to realize how bad an idea it was. From spilling a cup of coffee when turning your wrist to check the time, to touching a hot stove, to saying out loud what should have stayed quiet, it's a common occurrence for us all. Most often, however, our little unthinking moments are not captured by the camera. For Adam Richman, often they were. Such was the case when he casually took a bite of a hot pepper while recording a monologue for an episode set in New Mexico. Within a second or two, you can see that he has made a grave error. Richman's hands raise his shoulders tremble, his mouth is agape, and his expression clearly reads, why? Adam Richman once again put himself in danger of passing out, along with possibly going on some sort of spirit journey while eating a massive bowl of super spicy ramen. And actually, drinking it is more the operative, because it was in the last minutes of his challenge as he gulped down the fiery broth that he truly entered a circle of hell. Apparently, thousands of people have tried to eat an entire bowl of the spiciest ramen at Orochan Ramen, yet only a few hundred have succeeded. Richmond joined the hallowed ranks of the latter, but not without sweat and tears flowing as he took on the challenge. He first consumed the noodles and other ingredients, and then began to slurp at the remaining broth which is spiced with the restaurant's secret recipe. It's a recipe that apparently other chefs have tried repeatedly to steal. Where did you go to learn it? A special, special place, secret place. Richmond completed the special number two challenge in the allotted 30 minutes, looking hilariously miserable while he did so.
What can you really expect when a man tries to eat a 12-egg omelet other than him not finishing said omelet, right? Such was the case when Adam Richman visited Seattle, Washington's Beth's Cafe. As it happened, Richman sat down next to another gent, also named Adam, and both attempted to take on the Southwestern Exposure Challenge, wherein they tried to eat an omelet consisting of a full dozen eggs and stuffed with beef brisket and other Southwestern-style fixings. Atoms of the world collide! Perhaps even more remarkable than the fact that the two Adams quite nearly completed the Southwestern Exposure Challenge omelets is the fact that apparently about 1 in 10 people do finish all of the food involved. For these two eaters, they came close before both comically threw in the towel with looks of utter misery on their faces. The real kicker here? It turns out local Adam had once bested the mighty breakfast. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Mashed videos about your favorite food celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.